Hello everybody, Beard Reads Books here and in today's book review I'm going to be reviewing this book The Demonic Connection written by Toy Newton with a lot of help by a gentleman called Charles Walker uh, This is a book that deals predominantly with events that happened near Worthing, West Sussex uh, just north of Worthing there's a little village called Clapham and it's surrounded by woods called Clapham Woods. It's quite a well-known woods in the area, reported to be sort of the most one of the most haunted woods in the country. It's got a lot of legends, stories, and all the rest attached to it. I mean, there's been four deaths. Four people have died, sort of, in and around the Clapham Woods area. Lots of animals gone missing, UFO activities. And apparently there, it is said that for about a decade or so in the 70s, 80s, there was a satanic cult that regularly met at Clapham Woods called the Friends of Hecate. And... I mean, this book, The Demonic Connection, it recounts all these stories that are attached to the woods. And, I mean, it gives a bit of history to the area as well. Like, um, about all the various sort of, like, people who've owned the land and the woods. And sort of giving a bit of a historical account of all of them. And also talks about sort of cults in general this book I mean it's I mean I bought this predominantly because of the sort of the Clapham and Woods because I had a bit of an interest in the stories attached to Clapham and Woods and when I first on the my first reading of this book it doesn't not all of it it didn't doesn't deal entirely with Clapham Woods. There are some of the book talks about cults in general. And I felt a bit disappointed because I was expecting it to be completely about Clapham Woods. You know, so when we know I saw those bits about talking about cults in general in this book, I thought, oh, you know, I'm not, not I wasn't expecting it to talk about cults in general. I was just expecting it to be about specifically entirely about Clapham Woods. So I was a little bit, for want of a better way of putting it, I felt a bit short-changed. But on second reading, I've actually thoroughly enjoyed the book for for all of it. I've enjoyed all of the book. Yeah, so, yeah, it's, I suppose it's one of those books, if, you, if you're in, interested in reading about, like, cults and stuff, and, Especially if you've got a strong interest, if you know about Clapham Woods and you've got a strong interest in reading about about it, then this is definitely a good book to have. That is, it was. I think it had a limited print run, so it's like not many copies around. And I think nowadays you can't. I mean, you can get your hands on copies, but I think nowadays you're looking about quite a few bob to get your hands on a copy. I mean, I. I paid 35 quid for this copy. So it's, you know, don't come cheap. But, I mean, I personally, I was glad that I bought it. You know, I, I think it was, for me personally, money well spent. And like I said, it's, I mean, if you're, even if you're not interested in cults and all the rest, I would say this book has still got some, could still hold some appeal, some interest in that for the historical aspect, because it talks about like the various sort of goes into the history of some of the people who've like owned Clapham Woods and all the rest, and sort of the sort of the general sort of Bramber area, because then um, Clapham Woods. Balls in like the historical rape of Bramber, 
and so it has a bit of history like sort of who owned Bramber Castle and that like family history and all the rest so it's got a good sort of historical content to the book you know so the historical aspect even if you're not interested in cults even if you're, you're the kind of person you're only sort of interested in history this could still hold potentially hold some appeal purely because for the historical content it's got in it but it, i mean it's yes it's an interesting read and i mean especially for me because like i said i mean i spent quite a few a few about four years living in Werbin, and so clapham was sort of on my doorstep and i i thoroughly enjoyed sort of hearing stories of clapham i mean don't necessarily believe all the stories attached to it you know i've got a bit of skepticism towards some of the stories you know but even though i'm a bit skeptical still interested in reading the stories you know so it's if you've got a few bob and you can if you've got like if you can afford to spend 35 quid on a book and you're able to get a copy it's it's worth a punt i'd say so yeah and like i said i am um, i think toy newton might have written one or two other books but i think this is probably possibly one of the more well-known ones so yeah like i said yeah i enjoyed reading it well guys i've um, a bit of a short sweet review hope you've enjoyed watching I say if you've if you've read if you've read this if you've like read a copy of this let me know in the comments what you thought of it if you've ever been to Clapham Woods yourself feel free to sort of comment let me know what sort of what you think of Clapham Woods and all the stories in general I mean I always used to enjoy going for a walk up Clapham Woods quite a nice place to go for a walk through and yeah I mean I even can't even camped in the woods one night so I mean nothing ever happened to me when I was camping there that night but <laughs> it was a, I still had an enjoyable night camping out yeah but yeah feel free to comment if you've read the book let me know what you thought of it or if you've been up Clapham Woods and let me know what you what you think of Clapham Woods so yeah anyway thank you for watching guys and look forward to seeing you in the next review in the meantime take care